Hello guys, HG Gaming here, and today I will show you guys how to download LCPD for GTA 4. Now I do know a lot of you people still don't play this game, and some of you still do. So I will show you the basics and how to install it, and start up the and start up LCPD for as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys. So first things first is open up Chrome. Go to the lcpdfire.com website. I'll link it down below. Now that the site is loaded, you're going to click, click mods up on the top. Go click GTA IV mods. And then on the left, it should say LCPDFR. Then click the first on top. Now go on the right bottom corner and click download this file. Click agree and download. Click, click the second to last. And then make sure you have any uh, ad ad blocking software disabled to do, uh, to do this. Once it's done downloading, open it up. And then I'll show you guys through the installation setup. Click OK. Click Next. Click I Agree. And now there's D Sound and X Liveless. So X Liveless is to not go online, D Sound allows you to go online. So you could choose which one you want. Only choose one though. Click next. And now this is the part. Okay, so you go to program files. Make sure you go to Steam. Steam apps. Then common. Then go find your GTA, 5, GTA 4 folder. And then click OK. Now here's a big part. Now, it sh may say LCPD first response. Make sure you delete that because it will make a new folder and it and all the m files have to be in their GTA 4 directory for it to work. A lot of you people probably have been having this problem. So, if that if you were not able to start it up before, you should be able to start it up again. <clears throat> all right. So, this is basically all of your settings. You could customize it however you want. It basically does not matter. Alright, and I will show you how to do it in game. Alright, so I'm going to go into game for you guys, and I will show you guys how to start up LCBDFR. Now I will be lagging, I probably will lag because I am recording with for apps right now, and I do get a little lag from it. Alright, so I'll show you guys how to open it all up. 
So first you're going to click Alt P to start up LCPD fire. And right now I'm going to change my settings real quick because I am lagging a bit. And my game crashed, which is not good. Alright, so I will try this again. All right, now that I'm in game, let's get down to the street and I'll show you guys what we have to do. Now, as I was saying, Alt P is how you start LCPD fire. Must have really hated you. All right, now I'm going to spawn a vehicle so I could get to the police station faster. And yes, if you don't know, you have to go to the police station to start your duty. And if you do have EOS and have no clue how to use it, you click J, I believe four times, I can't remember what it was, pretty sure it was four times, and then G to turn on the siren. Then click Y to change the siren noise. So just walk into the marker, and then we'll be in this office building. So on your right, you have your, you could choose your partner. Get some health packs and armor. So you just walk straight, walk here, and then walk into that marker. So you could choose a character. Now I do have character skins, so it'll be different from yours. This is control. We have an assault on an officer on South Parkway. The exchange. Alright, now you could just exit out of the building. There is a tutorial I will do that the game that it comes with, so I will show that. To do the tutorial, you could click Y. And it will direct you straight into the tutorial. This is Control. I need assistance for a suspect resisting arrest in Broca Bridge. And then basically just follow what it tells you to do.
Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot. Alright, now that, that that is done, basically the end of the video, and I just hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope this helped you out. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.